Hello and welcome. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is the Phoenix Airbus A320. And in today's video I would like to talk to you about four things I really like about the Airbus A320 series. I've been flying the A320 now for a number of years and collected a few thousand hours on the aircraft, but still I marvel sometimes at the ingenuity that goes into creating one of these airliners. So in this video I would really like to point out four things that I think are a good example of how well thought out these aircraft really are and uh, what makes them so special, especially for people like me who are a bit of um, aircraft nerds. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the Airbus door. Not a very exciting item, you may think, but actually these doors are incredibly clever. We could probably make an entire video just about these doors. But the thing I want to talk about in this particular video is something I've always thought is extremely clever. And I do not know why not all manufacturers have this. So whenever the aircraft gets ready to depart, the cabin crew moves this lever here from disarmed to armed. And basically what that means, the slide that's in here is now in the armed position. If you would now open this door, it would jump open all by itself hydraulically and the slide would deploy, shoot out. And that's the whole idea. So if you have to evacuate very quickly, you move this lever up because the slide is armed it will immediately inflate and everybody can get out very quickly. Now this is all well and good, but unfortunately there have been incidents and accidents in the past with this. And that is when the aircraft arrives at the gate and for whatever reason the cabin crew forgot to put this lever from armed to disarmed. So if this stays in the armed position, and someone from the outside opens the door, first of all, the door will fling straight into their face and into their body, and then the slide will shoot out. So if there's a finger gate outside, like a jetway, or maybe a catering truck, this slide will shoot straight into it. And unfortunately, ground staff have been killed because of this in the past. So Airbus has found a very clever solution. If this lever is left in the armed position and someone opens the door from the outside, the aircraft will recognize this and automatically disarm the slide. And therefore there is no danger to anyone when opening the door from the outside, even if the slide is armed. And because of that, it's a way safer door than of most other manufacturers. Very clever in my opinion. Okay, this next thing is a small detail, but uh, small details is what I really like. So you probably know that in order to open the Airbus cockpit window, you have to push this button and then you slide the window to the back. But you cannot close it again, just like this. It is in a locked position. In order to unlock it, you have to move this little lever here to the back and then you can close it again. Have you ever wondered what is the purpose of this? Well, the answer is actually quite clever. You see, in the cockpit, we have three emergency exits. Our main emergency exit is, of course, the cockpit door but we also have those two windows here in case the door is damaged or bent to a point where it cannot be opened anymore. The idea is that up here there is a rope. You can actually see it here, escape rope. You remove that flap, you take the rope and you throw it outside. The rope is connected to the aircraft up here and then you can use the rope to climb down out of the window and this is our second choice of emergency exit. Now imagine for a moment that somehow the nose gear has collapsed. So this would mean that the nose of the aircraft is on the ground 
and the whole aircraft would have a very steep inkling towards the ground at the front. What this would mean is that every time we open the window, because it's all going on a steep slope forward, it would immediately shut again. So we would somehow have to keep it open whilst climbing out of the window. And this uh, window is quite heavy, by the way. And this is the purpose of this lock, to ensure that the window is always open, regardless of the aircraft position. And that way we always have this emergency exit available to us, regardless of what has happened to the aircraft. Very clever. Okay, next let's talk about the BUSS system, B-U-S-S, -S. it stands for Backup Speed Scale. In my opinion, an extremely clever and useful feature. Okay, so let's imagine we're just flying along nicely here and all of a sudden we enter a ash cloud, for example, by a volcano. Or for whatever reason, we have severe icing and we lose all our pitot tubes. So all of a sudden, the aircraft no longer knows how fast we are actually flying. It cannot give you any reliable speed indication. We call this situation unreliable airspeed. And whenever that happens, the autopilot will go off, the autothrust will go off and the flight directors will have to go off and you're completely left on your own. Now most aircraft have a table on the side down here in the QRH or in digital form where you have to look for your weight and then you look at a table that gives you a pitch and a power and that's how you fly the aircraft if you fly those pitch and power settings you should be safe now the Airbus is actually cleverer than that so I'm just gonna pretend now that we're gonna lose all information regarding our speed so because we're gonna lose it anyway let's switch off the auto thrust and let's go to manual thrust autopilot off flight directors off and now we cut off all information regarding speed from the aircraft. And as you can see, we now have this here. And this is the bus scale. So what the aircraft is doing now, it is using the weight and our angle of attack to calculate a safe speed range. So we don't need a table. This is essentially our table and it's pre-calculated by the aircraft. As long as you fly in the green, you are going to be safe. So in order to fly an approach, all you have to do is basically put the thrust levers into idle and keep the pitch the same. And when you reach the bottom of the green line, you put down the next set of flaps. So we are now clean, so we'll just go flaps one and watch what happens to the green scale. So flaps one, and there you go. And now you can slow down further and go to the next flap setting. And that keeps you safe all the way down to the ground. And note that whenever we fly a turn, the scale shifts because of course we have now changed the g-forces on the aircraft so all that is taken into account fun fact the altitude here is now no longer read by the sensors outside but is now read by the gps you can see it here it says gps so this is now a gps altitude and you're actually flying an angle of attack and not a speed and as long as you keep in the green you are absolutely safe even though you have no way of knowing how fast you are actually flying very clever system not installed on all aircraft by the way this is a optional extra luckily my company has it and we use it in the sim and train uh, with it in the sim and fly approaches so yeah really clever
Okay, last but not least, Ground Speed Mini. I've already made an entire video about Ground Speed Mini, so if you want to learn everything there is to know about this system, please watch the video. I think um, it explains it pretty well and it should give you a very good idea why it is such a clever system. In a nutshell, if you have a day where there's very little wind on the ground, but the winds aloft are quite strong, you could end up in a situation where during the descent you lose a lot of energy because you have a lot of headwind and then all of a sudden that wind drops. In other aircraft this could lead to a dangerous situation where you end up in a low energy state fairly close to the ground. And this is where Ground Speed Mini comes in, very clever system. It compares the wind on the ground with the wind you are flying through and automatically compensates for that wind, meaning it keeps the ground speed constant. And therefore, even if the wind drops, you are not going to lose any kind of energy and it will keep you safe. Again, very clever engineering by some very clever people. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you thought this was interesting, I hope you saw something maybe that you didn't know before about the A320, that would be great. In any case, thank you very much for watching, if you want to find out more about the aircraft I have an entire series about all those nerdy geeky details, so if you love that kind of stuff have a look through the playlist, maybe there's something you're interested in. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Until then, all the best. Bye bye.